we didn't give you a chance to prepare for this, but if you'd like to say a few words, come on up. Council Member Scott Griggs. This is my uh, first official action as a uh, Dallas City Councilman. So, uh, so it couldn't be, uh, it couldn't be uh, before a better community. Uh, the uh, LGBT community is such a big part of North Oak Cliff, uh, which in District 3, and uh, you were also supportive during, um, um, during my effort to get elected for Dallas City Council. So really appreciative of it, and I'll continue to work with you. Thank you. Coop, I know you're never at a loss for words, so we can just hear from Linda Coop, District 11, one of our senior council members. Senior council members. But uh, I do want to thank the community. I mean, y'all have been terrific. You've been terrific uh, as uh, being in my community and helping me with my, my community and my election. And the funniest thing that happened when I first uh, uh, ran for election was I went in to interview. Uh, and and, I, and they said, well, go, go ahead and give us a few minutes about yourself. And I gave one minute about myself, and I said, well, that's it. And they said, oh, okay, then we're going to support you because you're the shortest campaign <laughs> <laughs> stump speech ever. But um, I just really thank you so much, Delia, for having uh, recognizing um, this terrific group. And, and, and I know it will get bigger and better every year. And thank you for bringing the community together and working on some of the rules and regulations that we have in the city to to make sure that those were fair to well. Appreciate you. All right. Let's see. Next on our hit list, we have Mary. Mary Sue, Dallas City Manager. Forty-two years ago this month, in New York City, this movement began. And it's been a pretty amazing uh, week in New York this year, too. <laughs> and now, many, many years later, this has become a global movement that is working toward achieving the world free from violence, free from fear, for people, regardless of their sexual orientation or their gender orientation. And that's a very important thing. Uh, in honor of Gay Lesbian Pride Month and on behalf of the City of Dallas, I want to extend our appreciation to the GLBT community for your persistence, your courage, and your determination. A, a lot of work's been done, but there's a lot of work left to do. And I want to commend the council, uh, the amazing, courageous council that a few years ago extended uh, domestic partner benefits to all our city employees and also made a determination that we were not going to tolerate sexual orientation discrimination within our community. A very special, very brave, very good step. I will tell you we have lots of gay and lesbian employees in our organization, many, many of them in leadership positions, so we are determined that our diverse, broad employee base will be well represented and we want to reflect our community in every way we can. And so I commend you for this opportunity today to take note of these progressive things that have happened here and commit to you that we as a city, as an organization, will continue that progress. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Mary's been, you don't realize how supportive she has been of all the things we have done uh, on the GLBT task force, so I want to thank her personally. Um, and also, we have great support from our Dallas Fire Department and our DPD. So I'd like to ask Chief Carl, Deborah Carlin to come on up. I really have had an opportunity to work with a lot of you, so I really do feel like I'm standing up in front of family and friends today. But one of the things I really want to stress is that when we talk to our employees within the organization, and I think Vince will agree with me, you see a lot of Dallas Fire and Police because we have the big shiny toys and the lights that flash, so you see us when we come. But we represent every city employee, and we all believe the same thing. We believe that when you come to work, you need to come to work dedicated to provide the best quality customer service that you can every time you make contact with a citizen out there. And every time you treat people with compassion, respect, and use integrity. 
and that we celebrate the diversity within our community because I truly believe it does make us a stronger community. And I thank you for when you take the time to tell us when we fall short of those goals. And I thank you for when you tell us that we've done exceptional so that we can pass that on to our employees. And I believe that as we proceed, that if we continue to educate each other, to learn from each other, and to respect each other, we will continue to improve the relationships between our city employees and the GLBT community. And thank you for letting me share your day today. Thank you, Chief Carlin. Next, we have Assistant Chief Vince Goldbeck. Dallas Police Department. Thank you, Councilwoman. On behalf of Chief of Police David Brown and the entire Dallas Police Department, we're here today to commemorate the LGBT community's trials and tribulations for equality since 1969, but to most importantly celebrate the progress that has been made. Today is a reminder of our commitment to each other in professionally serving, to be non-tolerant of discrimination and to grasp diversity. From the Alan Ross Freedom Parade, Michael and I were talking about that this afternoon, the planning and implementation each year, to daily patrols and our interactions with all the neighborhoods. Public safety is a mutual trust that's paramount to relationships that make communities thrive. The times of 1969 are gone, but they will never be for forgotten. Occasionally, incidences will rise that make our LGBT partners take notice of our police action. Open dialogue and the ability to say that we made a mistake will only continue to forge stronger partnerships between us and the Dallas Police Department. A demonstration of police department seriousness and staying acutely aware of those important issues that affect you is utilization of our full-time dedicated liaison officer, Senior Corporal or Officer Laura Martin which she's exceptional and outstanding, as you know. She's a resource that's been instrumental in assuring that the positive relationships that have been forged will only be more productive as we go forward. Uh, thank you, and uh, we appreciate the partnerships and the interactions that we'll continue to have in the future. Thank you. Thank you. 